Okay. So I figured out yesterday that I was coming to do a tutorial on um on natural makeup. Now you know how you guys have those moments where either you break out or you know your face is not as clear as you want. You probably can't tell because I'm doing I'm not doing this on my regular camera. I'm doing this on another camera. So if my mouth may be a little off based on that, so excuse that, but I will be having the HD videos up soon again. Okay, so anyway, as you can see, my face looks probably looks clear, but let me, like up in here, I have like little blemishes and things like that. Not too flattering. They're not bad, like I see some people, but you want to cover that up, this is what you do. You need three things. You need some makeup. This is Revlon's Custom Creations. Um, you just turn it to with the dye that you want. You just need some of that. You need um, some pads. I, I, I like to use these blocks. They're easier to use. I don't like to use the pads that come in, like, in the makeup um, compacts because they leave a lot of bacteria and it make your face itch. Well, for me, because I got dry skin and my skin's not sensitive, so, yeah. And, um, and you just need a little finishing for the for the for the mouth. I hate when they say that it gives you a little nice mouth. Okay, so anyway, this is what you would do. Let's jump right in. Okay. You just put a little bit on the block. About that much. And then you go here, 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 and here. That's all you need. Now I know I look stupid right now, but that's fine. And if you feel like you need a little more coverage, you can always go back. But this is what you do. You start with this part, and you just go over and kind of drag it a little bit to kind of get over the blemishes that you don't want. As you guys can see, my baby hair is done, so I'm trying hard not to get no makeup in it. Okay. And then a little more coverage for the forehead. And then you just, you know. Go over those problematic areas because when you do this, what happens is you don't you you're only covering what you don't somewhere. You're only covering what you don't want to be shown. You know that's basically what natural makeup is to cover what you don't the little blemishes, but you still want to look natural. Get, make sure you get under the eyes. I know some people have the same thing that I have. Me being so light when the sun, when I get into a lot of sun, I get like circles around my eyes. And the fact that I'm like nocturnal now when I'm sleeping. So I sleep. I stay up really late, which is not good. It's not good for your body. It's not good for your face. But yeah, like stuff like this. Like I have like mole. Like this is a mole. So I will keep that. I won't cover that. Sometimes I do, depending if I want my face to look, you know, very fresh, fresh and clean, you know, and then you just go over this, excuse my eyebrows, but I'm letting them grow back in because I over tweezed them and they were looking really thin and I have, which is unknown to a lot of people, really thick ass eyebrows, they like, ridiculously thick, but I get them from my daddy's side of the family because he's Irish and they are just hairy. You know. Okay. And people, most people who do their makeup, they stop right here. And that's where you go wrong. You get a little bit more makeup, just about that much, and you go here. Because if you don't, what's going to happen is, you see this makeup right here. It's going to just be from here back. And then if you wear like a low shirt like this, they're going to see that this doesn't match this, and that's not cute. That's, when they're going to know, <laughs> that's not cute. I should have sprayed my hair down, but I didn't. Okay. What is this? Hold on, y'all. I'm being nosy. Oh, that's antifreeze. I don't need that right now. But anyway, you just go down here, get that chin line, like, break up that chin. Okay. So now we got full coverage. See? So now everything is, I still have, emo, I can have emotion in my face. I can still look normal. I don't look like water wall carpeting, you know. There's a trick I wanted to show you guys, but I'll do it in my next video um, with makeup. 
you know, a lot of people, I'll just tell you guys about it, because I don't know where my eyeliner is. I don't like makeup. Like, I'm not a really big makeup person. It annoys me because I, I like to touch my face. So, anyway, after that, only thing you need after that now is this. And this is just for the lips. Make sure that you moisturize your lips, you know, with something before you do this. Because there's nothing worse than lip gloss on crusty lips. That's not sexy at all. But anyway, this is Neutrogena Moisture Shine Gloss. It is Groove, which is 08. And I have brought, um, oh, what the fuck is that lip gloss called? It's a lip gloss um, that Kim Kardashian used. Um, shit, I forgot. NARS, NARS lip gloss. Um, and I brought it. It was twenty six dollars, and after about ten twenty minutes, it came right off. Like that was a waste of money. You know how like celebrities and they be on the red carpet they do this. So they lip they lip gloss they um keep off control. Okay, it's like, for me, because I like natural, and my my lips are pretty pink, but I don't like this pink. I like this pink. So, this is like a pinky color. I don't know if you can see that. It's a pinky color. And um, you just rub this across the bottom. Now, when you first put it on, you can see, see it, but you really can't see it. And I like mine that really show or whatever, so I did the top lip, too. Why not check? It's a nothing is too And I use this pretty often. I've had it for a while. And it's great. You know? And that's about it. You know, there's not there's no big things to natural makeup, but that's about it. If you wanna go and add like um eyeliner and stuff like that, you can. Or you wanna tweeze your lashes, you can. But my lashes are pretty long, so I really don't need that, you know. But, yeah, if you just want, you know, that made more of a difference from when I first started this video. Because, you know, that's how I like it to look, like that. Okay, now I'm getting wrinkles. But anyway. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty much as far as natural makeup goes. Again, you just need a pad, a makeup pad, and some some good foundation. I'm not really big on um, cream, I mean on liquid foundation like this, but this really, really works. And um, usually I'm like a clay person when it comes to makeup. I don't really use um, MAC. I don't like MAC, none of MAC's products because they, they just don't look great on me. No matter who does, I go to the MAC store and I just, people say I look cute, but me personally, I don't like it. But this I like because it's natural. And my chest matches my face. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Okay, and um, I did the video with the shout outs, but there's a few people who service that want a shout out. So, Miss um, Maxie Baby, hey girl, CDM0014, um, how are you doing? And Strawberry Vines, oh, and Coke Mommy. Chico Mommy. C H O C Mommy. She always um she can rap, y'all. Like she got some serious flow for that ass. But that's her name is C H O Mommy um on YouTube. So check her out. And another thing that I wanted to show you guys was um somebody asked me what perfume what perfume I use. Um so I use I have a bigger bottle of this in the room, but I use Green Spears Fantasy. This is um, the regular fantasy. I use this, and I also use this fantasy, the um, midnight fantasy. Willie really likes this one a lot. I like both of them because they represent me, the girl and the boy. Not like that, but you know what I'm saying. But anyway, um, am I forgetting? No, I'm not forgetting anything. Okay, so anyway, um, that's about it, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that this helped you guys with their natural makeup. Remember, um. It's makeup. You can always wash it off. So if you do it wrong, you can just redo it. But um, I love you guys. Keep subscribing. And tell your friends about me. I'm at 800 subscribers. I'm trying to get to 1,000. So help me out. I mean, I'm at 
804 now. So thank you. Bye. And Tiffany did my hair. Um, for those who want to know, Tiffany did my hair. And on Twitter, her name is um, Sexy Tiff, but it's T-Y-F-F. So it's S-E-X-I-I-T-I-F-F. T-Y-F-F. Just look on Twitter. Twitter.com slash Love you guys.